everyone. My name is Dr. Jennifer Crocker from Valley Children's Healthcare. I'm excited to talk to you today about being safe on and around ATVs. A safety first approach with ATVs is the best way to approach them. Serious injury can result from improper use. Parents need to determine a child's readiness to ride an ATV as not all have the strength, skills, or judgment to ride safely. ATV or all-terrain vehicle can include three-wheelers, four-wheelers, and quads. They're designed for a single rider who straddles the seat and holds on to the handlebars. They have a narrow wheelbase and can reach up to 60 miles per hour. They should never have more than one rider. Side-by-sides include UTVs or utility task vehicles or ROHVs or recreational off-highway vehicles. These off-road vehicles have a bench or bucket seats and are designed for two or more people. They have a steering wheel and foot pedals for acceleration and braking. They can reach up to 70 miles per hour. Training is very important before using these vehicles because of the design, higher center of gravity, turn radius, lower turning speeds, and the weight of the vehicles. When a passenger is added to an ATV designed for one rider, the center of gravity changes and increases risk for rollovers. ATVs do not have the same safety features as other vehicles that have turn signals, mirrors, and more visible headlights. They are not as easily seen by other vehicles. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children under age 16 do not ride ATVs. Riders younger than 16 should always be supervised by an adult. Now, my friend Karen Updegraff is gonna share some important safety measures you can use. Hi everyone, my name is Karen Updegraff and I'm a registered nurse at Valley Children's Healthcare. We learned from Dr. Crocker some of the risks with using ATVs. Now let's talk about the best way to safely enjoy them. It's important to remember that ATVs are not toys. So the proper safety gear should always be worn whenever riding one of these vehicles. You should wear a Department of Transportation approved helmet, goggles, long sleeves, long pants, over the ankle boots, and gloves. You should never ride them with sandals or tennis shoes. When riding on an ROHV, seatbelts and helmets are still important. Choose the appropriate ATV for age and size. There are many different sizes of ATVs and they are not all designed for children. When purchasing an ATV, there is often a hands-on safety course offered. This should be taken before starting to use the ATV. All ATVs and side-by-sides are designed for off-road use only. When used on paved surfaces, the tire design, center of gravity, and turning radius can contribute to rollovers. Ride at a safe speed and slowly over unfamiliar terrain. A two-person ATV should only be driven by an adult. If a child is allowed to be the passenger, the operator must be a responsible adult familiar with the operation of that ATV. We've learned a lot today on being safe when using an ATV. Always remember, an ATV is not a toy and can travel as fast as a vehicle. Be safe and enjoy your ride. <laughs>